Welcome back. Today we're going to learn about the Cori cycle and another similar cycle that follows uh, glucose metabolism and transport throughout your body. I'm going to start off with our old pal glucose, which gets turned into pyruvate through glycolysis, which then gets made into lactate when it's used. Lactate dehydrogenase. Now it's a dehydrogenase, so it's going to take hydrogen to give us NAD. Remember, lactate dehydrogenase. From this lactate, it's going to go through your blood, end up in your liver. That's going to get turned into pyruvate. Glucose through gluconeogenesis back through the blood, back to your muscle. should be noted that the same exact reaction that goes on right here happens right here. So you get the NAD, mix up the two hydrogens, use the same enzyme, lactate dehydrogenase. So, second part to this, there's a similar cycle that from pyruvate we get alanine. And this uses alanine amino transferase, glutamate goes in, alpha keto glutarate comes out, alanine goes into the liver, changes back to pyruvate through the same exact mechanism. So we have our Cori cycle and our alanine cycle. And we got enzyme lactate dehydrogenase, alanine amino transferase just in case you missed it. And just note that what's going on in skeletal muscle is going on backwards in the liver. Thank you. Intergalactic planet, intergalactic planet, intergalactic planet.